We got Emrod back here on the program, and this guy, uh, you know, he stole the weekend. I think this is what everyone has been talking about, this fight with Ed Herman and Mike Rodriguez. Unfortunately, Mike ended up losing by submission, but there's a lot of controversy there. First off, Mike, how you doing, man? It's been kind of a weird weekend. Uh, it's Yeah, it's been really weird. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's good. It's all right. Yeah, but what's the feedback been like? Because it seems like a lot of people are, you know, kind of have the same mentality. They're like, look, the referee, he screwed up. Ed Herman oversold a little bit. Um, does that give you any more encouragement just knowing that people sort of saw the same thing you did? Um, the thing is, like, I didn't even – so in the fight, in the midst of the fight, here's my thought process. When I hit him, he went down. And when he went down, I was going to finish him. The ref was like, time. And I'm like, Time? I'm thinking to myself, the round can't be over. Like, no, nah, the round can't be over. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, what is he seeing time for? So I'm trying to think. And then he, and then I hear his low blow, take your time. And then I hear my corner saying, like, that's bullshit. And I look up at the screen, and I see me him to the liver, and I'm like, what? That was fair play. Like, why why did he stop it, you know? So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. And so I just sat there you know, as a professional and just getting back up for the rest of the round to get ready to fight. But I, I was like, I was confused, but I didn't, I didn't let it take over me. I just was like, you know what? I got to fight. So just keep putting a beating on them as much as you possibly can. And that's what I did. Now, now correct me if I'm wrong in the rules. Like had you said something to the referee, is there a risk at you getting a point taken away for unsportsmanlike? Like, like what would happen there? Because you're watching the replay, you see that it didn't hit him, but I'm sure at yeah. the same time you're like, well, I don't want to get a point taken away. This could like the fight's still technically going on. Yeah, I just I always like I always, like just experience from like over like seeing other fights and stuff like that. When guys did step up, like it's always the ref is king. Whatever he says, technically it's his cage. We're in his cage, so whatever he says goes. So if he said break it up, whatever time, I just listened and just sat in my neutral corner and just chilled. You know, I just was like, I just let it be. You know, I didn't I didn't try to contest it or anything. Even after I saw it, I was like, whatever. The game plan, I imagine, was to do what you almost did, which was finish him. I imagine, you know, you felt like you could you could take him out and, and sort of do that. Was, was there anything different there? Was, was there, you know, potential of you taking it to the ground? What was sort of the game plan heading in? Uh, the game plan was to just because um, Ed, he's very, you know, he's very, um, his head is just so damn durable. Like you've seen him fight so many people, people crack him with shots and he just walks through them. Um, even I hit him with shots, he just walks through them. So the whole point of the whole fight was to attack the body we need we want to attack the lead leg and attack the body for early and fast and that's what i did and i'm like with accumulation of me attacking the lead leg and the body he should go down in the second round that was my prediction i, I think i even said that in our interview right if i'm not mistaken so like i'm like i'm gonna put him down in the second round and um i i thought i did i thought i did everything right but According to the ref, I hit him below the belt. So, so I, I'm curious. So, your mentality going into that third round, because you know this has happened. You're kind of like, I just basically got robbed a win. Like, I'm sure, like you saw the replay, you knew that it wasn't legit. How were you able to keep your composure going into that third round? Because I'd be pissed off, and it might even affect your performance, where you're like, you know, maybe getting a bit too emotional. So, but what going into the third round, I knew I hurt him so much. I knew I put on so, such a beating on him, it did so much damage to him. I'm like, this next round, I have to step it up to finish him and I can finish him I'm like I'm a finisher I like to finish guys so I'm like you know what I'm gonna finish him and I just went try to go out there and finish him and lo and behold I gotta finish myself <laughs> but it's, it's the name of the game when you're that kind of fighter you know so a lot's come out of this. I know your manager, Tyson Chartier, has mentioned they are going to appeal the fight. I mean, appeals, they take forever. I think that, I don't know if you heard that Bobby Moffat and Chaz Kelly fight, I think just got like overturned like last year. And that was like a fight from like 2017 uh, or something. So there, there, there's, there's a possibility, but I mean, I'm sure going through your head, that, that must be very sour just knowing what happened. Yeah, I just shrugged my shoulders like, whatever, let's move on. Because what's the worst? What's going to happen? I don't think they're going to give me a win. They probably change. Would, they, would you be open to a rematch though, just with how things ended up? Cause I think everyone knew that it wasn't a low blow. I don't give a shit. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not really into rematches, but um, you know, if I, if they're like, yeah, let's run it back. If they want to fight again, I'll be gladly. I mean, I was, again, I was winning the fight. And even if we fight a second time, I'll be winning again. So 
Yeah, and there's kind of mixed reviews on Ed, right? Because obviously he did oversell it a bit, but at the same time, that's not his fault that the referee stepped in. So are you like mad at Ed or are you like, like what's sort of your feelings towards him and how he handled it? Because I mean, it's tough to put ourselves in that shoe, especially with Ed who hadn't fought in a year and he had all these fights canceled. Like I sort of thought of that as well when he's doing all this, right? Because he's, you know, he had a lot to go through. Yeah, I, you know, I just accepted it for what it is. It happened. Um, it's an unfortunate thing. It could have, it could be all of our faults. You know what I mean? It just was a weird thing. It was just so weird. So I, I don't fault anybody for it. I don't hate the ref for it. Don't hate Ed for it. Uh, and in fact, I'm honored to even fight Ed. I thought it was awesome to fight him. Well, there was that cool story uh, so, you mentioned about you and your buddy when you watched Tough. And, yeah. and obviously, I know it, was, it meant a lot to, to fight him. Did you speak to Ed and his team after the fight, or has it been kind of radio silent? Uh, I spoke to Ed a little. He just said, you know, he was like, dude, you was kicking my ass right after the fight. And I was like, ah, it's all right. I was like, you got me, dog. You, you know, you did it. You went out there and did it like a vet. Like, you got it. And but he was like, man, you was kicking my ass. But yeah, that was about it. And he said like a bunch of nice things. He said he said the nice things about me before the fight too. But uh, yeah. yeah. I know you're not mad at the referee, but he did make a mistake. Like if you make a mistake in a fight, let's say you land like an illegal shot or something, you get penalized for it with the referee. I don't know what type of repercussions they even can do because it's a commission thing. It's not necessarily a UFC thing or anything like that. What do you think could be a solution to this? Because why do they even have instant replay if they don't even use it? Yeah, I I don't get that. So like they say you don't have instant replay, but yeah, but I guess like UFC production have instant replay, but the ref can't be like, Hey, run that back on the tape, which I think he should be able to do. I think he should be able to review the call. So the fact that that body shot had happened and he just sat there and like, hmm, da, 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 like, you know, and it's like, nah, we can test that. Like, let's review the tape. He can ask, you know, he can be like, hey, uh, instant replay, whatever, whoever's outside the cage and the guy can give thumbs up or like, nah, it was foul play. Then he'd be like, all right, no rest. Let's go. Like, you know, right back to it. I, I feel like that should be something to happen because MMA is a tricky fucking sport, man. No, like, it's, it's not easy. I mean, I'm not sitting here with all the answers. I mean, it's very tough, right? Like yeah. even with judging, like it's not like a judge can give a bad scorecard and they get reprimanded. Right. But I just think it is interesting because I mean, this does affect your career, Mike, like you would have been on a two fight win streak had they, you know, let the fight go on and now you're, you know, you've lost one here. So it's just like, I think those are the things that really do have an impact on fighters like yourself when you didn't do anything wrong. You did your job. It's the referee. You made the mistake. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I'm just like, you're ready to move on. I get it. Trust me. I can feel yeah. it over the, over, the, uh, over the screen here. I can understand. So that's my next question. We did talk about this, that, you know, however this fight went, you wanted to get one more in this year. Is that still the case? Or are you now looking more towards 2021? Well, I, I don't know, man. Now that um, I'm a little banged up from that fight. Um, so I, uh, one, of the, one of those loud crashing body kicks I hit him with uh, really jacked up my ankle a little bit. So I got to get that checked out. So once I get a bunch of things checked out, we'll we'll definitely see what's up. But I definitely want one more if I can. Yeah. Okay. Any any opponents that interest you? You just leave that up to Tyson. No, nah, that's all Tyson's job. I don't do that. I just I just show up. Like, what are you doing this week for for after a fight like this? Are you playing a lot of video games, hanging out with your kids. What, what's downtime looking like? Uh, I got to get caught up on some shows. I got to watch season two of The Boys. I've been slacking on that. Um, I've been watching a show called. Uh, Raised by the Wolves on uh, HBO Max, which is sick. It's like, yeah, it's dope. It's really cool. It's an interesting concept. Um, And, uh, yeah, I'll play a couple, some Siege since the new season just came out. So, yeah, that's pretty much what my... And talking to me, man. I really appreciate it, Mike. Always talking to you. you. Uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully something comes out of this. I mean, at the very least, I'd like to see them at least take a look at the instant replay thing and say, Hey, maybe this is something we've got to add in, in a situation like this, because, uh, again, like I said, it impacts your career and it's nothing against Ed. I think Ed, you know, did what he had to do, but it's a referee. You, you ultimately should get the blame here. But anyways, where can people find you on social media? And I'm sure you got some people to thank. I'll give you the last word. Uh, I want to, first of all, I want to thank Dana White and the UFC for still take care of me. Um, even when they didn't have to, they still held it down. Um, thank, thank you. Tara from the PI. That is my home girl. She held it down, dude. I like she hit all the nicks and crannies, all the everything I had uh wrong with me going into that fight. Um and I want to um thank all the love and support I've been getting. I've been getting more positive feedback. And the main thing the big takeaway I wanted to get over was that like my performance. Everybody was excited about my performance, everybody loved it. So that's good. And um I want to thank my sponsors, you know, um, Diamond Cup, they held it down with the cup. 
and should invest in one. <laughs> um, yeah, Diamond Cup. Uh, uh, um, I can't think right now. But, yeah, I just, just want to thank everybody who ever supported me and everything. And you can follow me at M- Emrod MMA. MMA, right? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, James, for the interview. Thank you for getting the word out there. You're always crushing it, man.